In today's video, I will teach you how to use soft proofing in Lightroom. Let's get started. Soft proofing in Lightroom is a helpful feature that lets you simulate how your photo will look when printed or displayed on different devices. It allows you to adjust your edits to match the colors and tones as closely as possible to the intended output ensuring better consistency and reducing surprises during printing. First, we're going to enable soft proofing. To do this, open Lightroom and select the Develop module. At the bottom of the screen, check the soft proofing box in the toolbar. If the toolbar is invisible, simply press T to reveal it. When soft proofing is enabled, the background around your photo changes to white, but you can adjust this to simulate your print environment. A soft proofing panel appears to the right side under the histogram. In the soft proofing panel, locate the profile drop-down menu. This contains ICC profiles for printers, papers, and screens. If you're printing, select the specific ICC profile for your printer and paper combination. For screen output, you can use profiles like sRGB or Adobe RGB. Now we're going to choose the rendering intent. Perceptual adjusts the colors to maintain relative relationships, which is ideal for photos with subtle gradients. And Relative preserves in gamut colors and clips out of gamut ones, which is useful for images with strong and vibrant colors. So toggle between the two options to see which works best for your image. Now enable the gamut warnings by clicking the gamut warning triangle in the histogram. Out of gamut areas for the selected profile will appear highlighted in red on your photo. These are colors that a printer or device cannot accurately reproduce. So use the adjustment sliders like saturation, exposure, and vibrance to bring those areas back into gamut. An optional step is creating a proof copy. To avoid overwriting your original edits, click the Create Proof Copy at the top of the soft proofing panel. Lightroom will generate a virtual copy of your photo, allowing you to make soft proofed adjustments without affecting the original file. After identifying problem areas, you can fine-tune colors, contrast, and exposure using the basic panel and other tools. But focus on correcting any gamut issues or enhancing specific tones to better match the intended output. And you can press Y or Shift Y to view a side-by-side -side comparison of your original image and the soft-proofed version. This helps you see how your adjustments affect the photo. And once you're satisfied with the adjustments, simply go to File then export. Then choose the appropriate color balance, for example, sRGB for web or the selected ICC profile for printing. And you're done. If you find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to see more tutorials, turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we upload new videos.